test my yeah, I think, uh, again, good morning to everyone, and it's really great to see all of you, and wow, praise the Lord God, I see new faces today, yeah, and all right, and of course, those who have not been with us for quite a while, you're back, praise the Lord God for all of you, all right, for being back, why don't you, uh, why don't we do this, all right, uh, let's all stand up, shake hands with everybody, all right, if you're still like afraid of COVID, so you could do face bump, introduce your names, come on, come on. Right, introduce your names to those who were around you. Come on, come on. All right. Yep. Good morning, Good morning, po. Ano po niya? Marita. Marita. Yeah. Hi, Steph. Yep. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Sam. Great to meet you finally. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Na na effect. Ang gara naman ng damit. Yeah. Good morning. Po. Yeah, good morning. Woohoo! Yep. Yeah, all right. Please be seated. Mm. Yep, and 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 right now we are in two clusters and um, we are praying eventually that there's going to be a third cluster in Long Island. Yep. So that's our next, uh, that's actually our next, uh, yep, we're targeting the next one. And actually there's one that is developing. It's not really, it's not really light cast, but uh, there's a church in New Jersey that is asking for our help. And um, they're actually, uh, um, uh, this afternoon we're going to go there. And they're actually trying to get me to become their pastor. Right? But, um, we are not, we are not, I'm not going there, right, on my own. So we are bringing our light cast primary team to be there. Our preachers are going to go there from time to time. And, of course, we are thankful for that. Our, even our Sunday school team and uh, our Samba, right, um, band is going to be there from time to time also. So we are glad for these developments. Amen. And, of course, our prayer is that on, on, uh, on the, our 12th anniversary, that is in 2024, right? 2024, that we are going to have 12 um, active clusters in New York City. All right? That's our aim, all right? So that means right now we have, we have six speech preachers, right? Um, uh, going around, we have two bands. We have two bands and we have, uh, um, what else uh, we have? Uh, what else do we have? We have um, three pastors in training, right? So that means that uh, in order for us to have these clusters, 12 clusters we have, so there's four pastors right now. Um, I mean, I, I am one of those, right? And of course, the three that are um, in training. So we need, we need uh, eight more pastors, right, by 2024, right? So I'm calling on those who are being called to the ministry. Wag na kayong tumakbo. Matuto kayo ay Joma. Ayan. All right. Kuya Boy. Hindi ka talaga pwede ito makbo, ha? All right. So, and, uh, and of course, all right. So, uh, we know that our deacons are also eventually are going to, all right. So, pinagpipray natin kung kailan sila pare-retire ng Panginoon. Right, with all that. All right. Again, welcome to Lightcast Church. For those who are online, God bless you. So, um, uh, make your comments there and... Uh, and again, um, our, uh, so we know that you are with us. All right. So um, we are, um, again, we, we, we are on our 40 days of delight. That's our, actually our series. Um, it started three weeks ago, and our culmination, it will be done by Easter Sunday. All right. So that's it. Now, the Lord God said, my ways are higher than your ways. And he further said, my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. And we all know that. But isn't it our tendency to actually still do things our own way? Right? I am like that a lot of times still. Right? And the Bible is actually replete with this statement that people had run away from the Lord and they say, the Bible says this, and they did that which was right in their own eyes. So if you are somebody who's like this, yep, uh, you are not alone. 
And the Bible furthermore had said that we are like sheep who had gone astray. We were lost. We had turned everyone into his own way. So we have our own ways. That, and um, if you're going to really be honest about it, we find God's ways or God things boring. Hmm. Be honest enough. If you're going to be given a choice hmm, to go to a mall or to a Bible study, Hmm. Not <laughs> All right, so and, and it's still a matter of fact that we are not fully back. Our church is not fully back. A lot of people are still out there, especially now this spring. It's really, you know, good weather out there. And you know, and the, and, and some of this morning, given a choice between outing or prayer meeting. Hmm. Outing or prayer meeting, come on. I know, come on. All right. And there's actually a meme about that. Have you seen that meme? Like, um, um, when the pastor said, excursion tayo, the bus is actually like filled up. Prayer meeting tayo, there's only three who's there. The, yeah. Uh, yun. Combine natin yung prayer meeting and outing. Huh? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> You see, uh, we have really smart people in Lightcast. So we praise the Lord God for that. Now, or we, when, we th- when we see, you know, other people who are doing really like what was uh, like beyond what is like required. Because we actually have, you know, we do spiritual things. But we want the bare minimum. Going to church on Sunday, praying every day, and that's it. But we find those people who are into God's word every day who are praying for an hour, for an hour every day, and those people who are actually studying the Bible, those who are, those who are actually, you know, attending Bible studies here and there, we find that radical. We even have a term for them, fanatics, right? When we see in the scriptures, these are actually the normal things. Why? Because if you delight in the Lord, you also delight in the things of the Lord. Agree? But here's the thing, right? We, spiritual things don't excite us. And I'd be honest with you, there are times it's also the same with me. There are times that it's also it's the same with me. Um, there are times that my mind goes like, ah, there's another Bible study, there's another cell group. And my mind goes like, ah. It's natural. Why? Because that's our sinful nature there. Our sinful nature goes against the things of the Lord God. But praise the Lord God. But when someone comes to know the Lord Jesus Christ, when we repented of our sins and received Christ as our Savior, didn't things change for you? Do I have a witness in the house? Yeah. yeah. So the Lord God says, you know, and, and a lot of things have changed for you. One thing, right? There are your mainstays, companion, shame. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, baka ho may nag-aabang uli sa baba. Si Nanay, <laughs> si Nanay Faye, baka nasa pintuan ulit. Right? And things change for us, you know, in, in our mainstay, shame, guilt, condemnation, and there are times it's self-condemnation. You actually talk to yourself down. Di ba? Have you ever experienced that? Ah, talaga, eto ka na naman. You know, wala ka talagang kwenta. But that actually is not you. Somebody's actually like saying that. Right? But praise the Lord God. You know, the Lord God says the same shame, guilt, and condemnation, they're out. They're out. Mm. And joy, peace, and purpose, and meaning, and hope, and whatnot. The Lord God is so much more. The Lord God says they are in. Why? Because it's the new you. Mm. In Christ. Right? Because apart from Christ, we are really nothing. Right? I'm nothing, even if you find me that, you know, Pastor, you, are, um, you, you have so much to offer, right? Number one is because you're good looking, huh? right? Number two, you are talented, mm. right? The only talent that I don't have is dance. I can sing, I can draw, right? I can mimic Elvis Presley. Do you want to see? Not now. <laughs> right? So, and, uh, you know, and, and in all that, and, 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 you know, and we have that, we have all that stuff in our, in our lives that we are claiming about, that we can claim for ourselves, but they really are nothing if you're going to think about it. 
And, and there was even like, you know, this video of, uh, you remember that, uh, I don't know if you saw that, that there's a guy who threw all his money, all his money in front of the hospital because he was, he, he was diagnosed with cancer and he needs a transplant. But with all the money that he has, the hospital cannot give him the transplant that he needed. So he said, what use is my money? So he threw all his money in front of the hospital. Right? Just imagine that. And again, without Christ in our lives, there's really nothing to it. But when you are in Christ, there's a new way of seeing things. Right? The colors are more colorful. Mm. You actually look at the, the, the future a little, uh, a little bit brighter. But when you find your purpose and your meaning, even though you're sick, even though you lost your job, right, do you know that the future is always brighter for those who are in Christ? Amen? And you are looking for that eternal hope, eternal hope in heaven. And it is a new way of life, right? A new way of life. And that's why, you know, and the, no wonder that the Lord Jesus Christ had told us, you must be born again. Born again is not a brand of religion. It is your life. It is a lifestyle. And, and that's what we are. And that's what, we ha that's what had happened. We were born again when we repented of our sins and received the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. So those who are born again say amen. amen. There you go. All right. And of course, again, um, unless somebody is born again, right, unless you are born again, you will always have counterfeit delight. If you want, uh, we discuss about that um, wicked delight in the two sermons, um, two sermons back. Was it last week? Last week, last week. <laughs> last week, yeah. Last week, and Jomar and Ives uh, did a great discussion about that. So if you want to visit that, you can go to our, to our group page. I think it's being posted um, on our page also, right? So you can go there. So if you are not part of Like Us page, so go there. You can always find us out, right, online. For those who are online, right, on Facebook, Like Us, Church International, and then like our page. And so you're going to have updates. By the way, this is not NYC Lux, all right? This is, <laughs> this is, this is Like Us Church, all right? And, and, and here, right, for, we, unless you are born again, you will always have counterfeit delight for real delight can only be found in the Lord mm. right but even when we had experienced what we call joy of salvation when we were saved we still have a tendency to be distracted by the things of the world mm. some of you are familiar with the parable of the sower you know that the, uh, somebody got excited but then drifted away so that's also our tendency because of the cares in this world we drift away from the things of the Lord, okay? And during these 40 days of delight, yeah, all right? The 40 days of delight. That's what we are trying to ignite or rekindle. So come on, for those, did you bring your, your, your bookmarks? Come on, this is a big bookmark. All right. all right, bring out your Bibles. Come on, your physical Bible. We are encouraging everyone. If you don't have a physical Bible and you don't have money to buy one, tell us. We're going to we're going to uh, we're going to pray with you, <laughs> all right? So if you need a physical Bible, tell us, and we're gonna buy you one, right? So why do we want a physical Bible? Because uh, can you can somebody give me a highlighter, the highlighter that we gave away last week? There you go. Right for those who are in the Philippines, sorry, right? Um, but pag-uwiko, I'll, uh, no, I'll be ready for this, all right? So this our, we are now in our weekly. And if you have a physical Bible and you're joining the 40 Days of Delight, even if you're going to join um, a little bit late. So what's the aim? We read seven chapters a day, six days a week. So we're going to read that and we're going to finish the whole New Testament, right, by, uh, by Easter. Right? We actually have um, several days, you know, um, we have several days, uh, uh, you know, um, extra in order for us to do that why because uh, some of you are already doing this uh, don't don't you I, I still have this oh it's written in the bible don't you have that i just you know I, i've been reading the bible for quite a while you know but it doesn't really it doesn't like real tire me and one of those things that i saw um the ram fam is in the scriptures right? and and so we have so every day 
every day, um, so you mark those parts that are actually standing out. And this is a special highlighter. It doesn't bleed through your pages. Huh? Right? We actually bought uh, one that didn't fulfill its promise. But praise the Lord God. The Lord God fulfills the promise. This doesn't bleed. All right? So if you want, if you have a physical Bible today and you want to join the, the 40 Days of Delight, and if you haven't, all right, and if you have joined but you didn't get the highlighter, so get it from our ushers later. So we have seven weeks for that, and you are going to read again. And then we have the memory verses at the back. There you go. Sorry, there's because it kind of like, you know, and it, this is always my fault. I can't, we, can't, I can't, we kind of like uh, rushed in doing these things. We were never able to, to check a lot of uh, stuff that are there, right? For example, I missed that. That um, even though Jake, I think, mentioned about it, that there's like a one that only has six chapters. Our week two, the last one, that should be John 10 to 16. So you should not skip verse, uh, John, John 16 because John 10 to 15 lang, right, in the list. And of course, our memory verse, that's Psalm 1, 2, last week. And this week, it's not NIV, that's NKJV, our verse for today. So what is, uh, let's recite our verses. There you go. Psalm 37, verse 4. Psalm 37 verse 4. If you have this, right, you can bring it out. All right, if you have this, it's there. Right, Psalm 37 verse 4. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Next one, Psalm 1, 2. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. So our verse for today, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he delights in his way. All right, so say it with me. Ready? Begin. All right. Psalm 37, 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he delights in his way. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. So today we are going to talk about delight in God's way. Mm. And in verse 24 it says, Though we fall, he shall not be cast down. We all fail. Right? How many of you here never experienced failure? Right? But here's the thing. Failure is never a person. Mm, it is an event. So those who have victim mentalities, right? You cannot become victorious if you have that. If you are defining yourself as a failure, take what the Lord God had told you. You are more than conquerors through him who loved you through the Lord Jesus Christ. Ah, pastor, kung alam mo lang pinagdaanan ko, alam mo rin ba pinagdaanan ko? Di ba? Pare-pareho lang tayo. We all went through stuff that other people might not have experienced. Right? You are not so special that you have things worse. Right? Are, are you following this? Huh? And so the Lord God is telling us, he might fall, he might be cast down, but look at what the Lord God says. Right? And what the Lord God says in verse 24, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Right? Kaya sa mga problema natin, pwede nyo sabihin yung linya ni Fernando Po Jr. Babangon ako at tudurugin kita. Yan. Right? You can say this stuff. I am more than a conqueror through him. Right? But how? We need to delight in God's ways. Mm -hmm. Right? So now, man's ways are the ways of the world, mm -hmm. right? And they're totally different from God's ways. Oh, just for example, sino sa inyo rito ang tawag dito na hindi nyo na na-experience o gusto nyo magigante? Hmm. Right? Na gusto nyo magigante. Di ba? Merong nanira sa inyo, merong nanakit sa inyo, right? Meron ako usap na pastor. There's a pastor that I was talking to. I thought then they started talking talking, uh, you know, bad stuff against another pastor, a common friend. And I thought the, the, the error was done like a year before or recently. Apparently like more than 10 years ago. And he was not able to let go of that. And when then I told him, Pastor, gusto nyo, uh, I'll call this pastor friend, the other pastor, and I'll, I'll help you talk to each other. Oh no, it's okay. I'm already okay. Okay, tapos kinukwento ko ng kwento, you know. It's not. Di ba? Right? Um, bitterness comes out. But the way of God is this. Turn the other cheek. Mm. The Lord God said, those who curse you, don't curse them back. But bless them. So pag minura ka, sabihan mo, God bless you. 
right? Ang hirap naman, no? It is really, God's ways are different. That's why it's, it's really radical. But praise the Lord God because you don't do it on your own. It is the Holy Spirit that is, who is in you who will actually work in you and here's the great thing, and work through you. you. From a victim, the Lord God wants us to be victorious. From a mess, you're going to be God's message. From your test, even though that you had failed, eventually you're going to have a testimony. Praise the Lord God. Amen? Right now, so the Bible says man's ways, God's ways are always higher than our ways. So today we are going to compare man's ways versus God's ways. Mm-hmm. Right, by the way, bubusin na ako. Right? Kasi you might think that as I talk, right, that these things are really somehow reflects our attitude and our character and even the bad ones. And so, don't think that your cell leader told me something. Right? Because, oh, pastor, that's me. That's the Holy Spirit talking to you. Right? I didn't talk to any cell leader before I form this message, huh? Only to Ate Susan. Right? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Right? So here, right, in verse, in 1 John chapter 3, verse 11. So how do we do this? 1 John chapter 3, verse 11. For this is the message that you heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. All right. There you go. Um, dito sa lahat, kas pausa natin to, no? Imbes na yun, yung, yung uh, sa, sa ibang churches, they go like, peace be with you, peace be with you. Sa atin, yung sumula ngayon, eto na sa atin, ha? I love you. <laughs> All right? All right? No, no, no. no. That's, that's so cheesy to do in church. But here, the Lord God is saying that we love one another. But look at verse 13. Saan niya kinumpare? To whom did he compare this? Na, in verse 12, not as Cain, who was of the wicked one, the wicked one, of course, is the devil. Did you hear that? So man's ways are Cain's ways. So today we are going to compare Cain likeness to Christ likeness. Because said, do not do things the way Cain did. So we are going to look at Cain's ways to God's ways, to Christ's ways. So Cain, Cain likeness versus Christ likeness. Let's go to the Lord in prayer before we continue. Lord God, we come to you. And we ask you, Lord God, um, give us, Lord, um, clarity. Speak, Lord God, to our hearts. And at the end of this, Lord God, that we, Lord God, would really, Lord, repent, Lord God, of our ways that are not Christ-like. And again, Lord, that we are going to make ourselves available, for we are indeed our brothers or sisters keepers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So what is Cain likeness, right? Cain likeness is self-promoting. Cain likeness is self-promoting. Promoting. So where do we see this? All right. So let me give you the background of Cain. Cain is the the eldest. Is the I mean the, he's the first son ever. Mm. First son. He was the son of Adam and Eve. He was the eldest. And what had happened is that you know so he had another brother. He had a brother who was uh, Abel. Right? Another son was born to to Adam and Eve. Right. And of course we know that they are not the only. They're not the only. Um, children of Adam and Eve. Um, Adam and Eve also had daughters, right? Why do we say that? Because Cain was married. And uh, eventually Seth came out, the third son, and he was also married. And here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Cain wanted his own ways. So he's promoting himself. But then the Lord God, they offered an offering. The Lord God received Abel's offering, but rejected Cain's. We're going to see what's the reason for that. But let me, let me just finish the story for those who are unfamiliar, right? And what happened to Cain afterwards? So he was so angry that the Lord God rejected his offering. He hunted Abel and killed him. He killed Abel, right? And what happened afterwards? So the Lord God put, actually he even protected Cain, if you're going to look there in Genesis chapter 4. Because the Lord God said that anyone who's going to touch Cain will also be cursed. Lord God told him. So somehow Cain's, uh, 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 Cain's family, but he said, that that's why Cain actually said that, you know, your judgment is too much. It is like, you know, I should not live at all. But that's actually a worse punishment if you're going to look, to look there, right? And, uh, uh, you know, that he was living, but everything that he handles was cursed. 
That's what the Lord God had given him because it, the Lord God said, Abel's blood is crying out to me. And of course, we know that's a metaphor. Now, what happened there? So what is wrong with Cain's offering? Why was he rejected? And um, some people say that the reason for the rejection is because Abel offered the sacrifice should be with blood. Not really, right? There are different sacrifices. For example, first fruits. So here, this might be first fruits. So what is wrong? What went wrong? The clue, right, is in Genesis 4, 6. Genesis 4, 6. So the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? And why has your countenance fallen? Right? Bakit bad trip ka? Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the, what my sons would hear from me when, you know, when I'm correcting them. Bakit bad trip ka? Right? And so he said, if you did well, if you did well, will you not be accepted? And if you did not do well, it is because sin lies at the door. Why were you rejected? Why were you rejected? Because there's sin at the door, the Lord God says. And its desire is for you, but you should rule over it. But we know that on our own, we, can, we don't really have power over sin. In the Philippines, ginawang pa ng kanta yan. Gusto kong bumait, pero di ko magawa, di ba? Gusto kong bumait, pero di ko magawa. Nasa Diyos ang awa, nasa tao ang gawa. Yes, yes, yo, di ba? Right? We even made a song about that. Yeah? And... And, um, and look at what the Lord God said here. That word, accepted, it also means lifted up. Right? So rejection, rejection is not just because it's rejected. Rejection is putting it down. Right? And being accepted is being lifted up. That word that was used here in Hebrew. So what's the clue? Again, in James 4, 6, the Lord God says, but he gives grace he right? gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud. Mm. But gives grace to the humble. So what happened here? Cain was self-promoting. And when he was like telling the Lord, Lord, look at my offering. Huh? Huh? Look at the things that I'm doing for you, Lord. Huh? Huh? Lord. And there are times we pastors also, actually, and we, those who had been Christians and those who had been leaders, there's a temptation for us to actually do that. Now, Lord, look at what I had done for you. Oh, see this? Right? But the Lord God, again, that's the sense of pride that in our offering, there's pride. We are promoting ourselves instead of glorifying God. So here, in verse 10, look at what the Lord God said. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He will lift you up. Wow. Mm. So, the Lord God says, those who are proud... You are going to be rejected. God actually not only rejected, God resists you. In the Bible, the Lord God calls you in the Old Testament, pride is an abomination to the Lord. What's the meaning of abomination? So here's the picture. Your offering, right? You might have given, now we don't do the animal offerings or the fruit offerings. In the Philippines, there are some, there's still some people who would give that to the church, right? I know one, one pastor that the, the offering that the church gave him, right, was actually chickens, Right, so uh, when he spoke, and uh, this is still familiar in some parts of the world, but here our offering, even if you give, you give a hundred thousand dollars to the Lord, mm. and even though you say uh, uh, no strings attached, even if you say, Pastor, don't tell anyone, ah, huh? ikaw lang saka ako nakakalam nito, saka yung kapatid ko, saka yung nanay ko, right, saka yung mga tao sa stop and shop, right, atin lang. Right? Even if you say that that's how secret it is, but if your heart is haughty and telling the Lord God, Lord, I'm giving this to you, so you now you need to bless me. The Lord God is a blesser, but He requires humility. Hmm. Why do I give? Not because I want God to bless me. Of course, I want God to bless me more, but that's really not my motivation. I want to glorify God because He had already blessed me. So I give, you know, I, and in and, and one of our talks, um, um, of course, our staff from time to time when we eat lunch, and there was this one time that our, actually one of the topics is about becoming rich. And we have, you know, um, in, on our staff, we have people who actually can, uh, you know, they have the potential to become, to become rich, all right? We have, uh, Kersey is a, 
um, is a saling kit na staff, <laughs> right? And she owns a business right now, Lumipying NYC. They actually now have a problem because they are already having problems. They have so many orders and they are already backed off. Oh, so the, what, the, what's that, what does that mean? They need to expand, mm. right? So she's now looking for people who will pour candle <laughs> into those <laughs> canisters, right? All right, so, but here, even with that, and there was this one time that we we're talking, Karen also was in the, her, Karen's uh, um, um, course in college is business management, right? We have Jake who is, um, you know, a filmmaker. Yeah, he, for some of you who don't know, Jake actually won a best director in one of the film festivals here in New York. Mm. Yep. Mm. And of course, he's the best director in Curse's Heart. Mm. Right? Yeah. Jomar was a former CEO. Mm. And he's also going to be a future CEO. Not only of Mara's heart. <laughs> but again, so when we were talking, and of course, everybody was like saying, you know, and uh, we want to achieve that. You know, uh, we want to, to achieve becoming a millionaire. Right? Which is not really, if we're thinking about it, it's hard, but it's not. If you're going to think about that. But uh, how? That's actually the question that we have. So how do we do that? But here's the, actually like, the crazy thing. When we were talking on, the, on, the, uh, on, on, on that table one day, I said, I declared this, I want to be a billionaire, but not to spend it on my family. I want to be a millionaire because I want, I want to be a millionaire that millions will just pass through me. Mm. That I want to really spend everything I've got for the glory of the Lord God, right? For missionaries, for church planters, and also the, the aim that we have here in, in, in again, the, the point there is, you know, I cannot do that if I'm not going to humble myself before the Lord God, mm. right? And Lord, the Lord God said, that's what he's looking for, humility, but here's Cain likeness. It is self-promoting. And when it is self-promoting, how do you know that you are self-promoting? Number one, right? Of course, you are proud. Ah, you're going ah, kita nyo, ah, ginawa ako, ah. Ako yan. All right? that's, that's actually what's in our mind. Number, number two, when somebody else is promoted, you get angry. Hmm. Filipino, crab mentality. Yeah, are we familiar with that? I don't know. Why is that, why is that a part of our culture? Crab mentality. Tingnan mo itong si, si Fe. Mm, Init-init, naka-fur. Naka mm. Ingit ka lang. Mm. Kasi nanay pa lang may ganyan, ha? Alright? Sorry, nanay pa kanina na. Nay, ha? Well, well dressed today. Right? So, tawag dito, you, you know, you, you look for things in order not to praise other people, but what you do is you bring them down because they're successful. That's gain likeness. Hmm. That's gain likeness. We should be happy when people are actually being promoted. Mm, I still have that. There are times that I still have that. Lord, bakit yung ministry ng ganitong church? Lord, lumalaki. Tapos kami, we're serious about you. And then, Lord, bakit ganun? Hanggang ngayon, ang dami pa rin hindi bumabalik. Mm. Ngayon, nakakaingit kasi pag nakita na yung pictures, kaninong umaga, namasyal sila kami, nasa church. <laughs> you know? mm. And the next thing is, not only that, look at what the Lord God said. In the next verse, the Lord God said in 1 John chapter 3, right? In verse, uh, in verse 13, 1 John chapter 4, verse 13, it says there, oh, am I right? 1 John 3, right? Sorry. 1 John chapter 3, 13, do not marvel, my brethren, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love the brethren. He who does not love his brother abides in death. Um, aray, right? Whoever hates his brother is a murderer. Mm. Yung mabanggit lang yung pangalan, naamoy nyo lang yung kanyang pabango. Mm. Ralph Lauren Paolo, meron pa ba nagsusot nun? Yung pabango ng lolo ko eh. Yeah, Tapos galit ka na, kasi naamoy yung pabango ng lolo mo. Right? So this, the Lord God is telling you, you if you hate somebody with such disgust, you are a murderer. Mm. Because you wish harm for them. That's malice according to the scriptures. Eh, pastor, hindi mo lang alam yung ginawa niya. The Lord knows. This is not my word. This is the word of the Lord. Mm. And by the way, all of us here had been victimized by someone. Now, nobody here has not become a victim of someone's actions. Lahat tayo, walang sinino rito. There are times that it's even your parents. 
Hmm. But the Lord God is telling you, if you are in Christ, you are a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. Mm. So find your delight in God. Be Christ-like. So what is Christ-likeness? It's the opposite of this. It's not self-promoting. Christ-likeness is God-glorifying. Right? Kahit na nasasaktan ka na. Kung wala ka nang... Right? In Philippians chapter 2, verse 5, look, look at what the Lord God said. Let this mind be in you. Philippians 2, 5. Right? Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Now in verse 6 it says, Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. He is equal with the Lord God, but he didn't take advantage of that, but made himself of no reputation, took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of man. Now in verse 8, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even to the death on the cross of Calvary. The Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself. He submitted himself. He obeyed for what? Right? Because of his love for the Father and his love for you and for me. Right? Amen. Now in John chapter 15 verse 13. Uh, by the way, this was quoted by Putin yesterday in his speech. Yep. And look at what the Lord God says, what the Lord Jesus Christ said in John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this. Woo! Right? That than to lay down one's life for his friends. But you know what's really amazing? Jesus Christ died for us in that while we were yet sinners. We were enemies of God according to the scriptures. We are thinking uh, you are religious enough, but no, you are not seeking God's ways. You are trying to use God. I've been religious all throughout my life, but I've tried to use God instead of me having myself being used by the Lord God. Right? So I want God to do my purposes. That's why I pray so hard. And that's why when the Lord God never answers my prayer, the way I want it, you know, for lack of a better word, I make tampo. Hmm. What's that in English? Tampoizing. <laughs> right? Uh, Lord, I don't want to, I don't want to go to church yeah, because I failed my, my entrance exam. No, I don't want to go to church, Lord God, because I'm going to see um, Toot Toot there. And she just, she just turned me down. You know that. I don't want to go to that church anymore because the pastor there, he's a snob. Mm. Oh, the, the leader of the awesome cluster, that deacon, I don't like the way he looks at me. Mm. You know, we, we could have all these reasons, but that's, you know, the Lord God said, the Lord Jesus Christ is humble, he's loving, he is life-giving. So Christ-likeness, you are going to become humble. When you're in Christ, you become humble, you become loving, and you become life-giving. Mm. And that leads us to the next one. Cain-likeness is self-righteous. A person who is proud is also self-righteous. In verse 12, look at what it says. Let's complete that, that verse. Not as Cain who was of the wicked one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his works were evil and his brothers righteous. Mm. And in Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, Matthew 7, 21, so on and, and, and uh, until verse 23, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father, right? Because we want to actually be religious, but we want it our own way. Mm, we want it our own way, our religiosity, right? So uh, uh, when, the, when we see like the demands of the scriptures, deny yourself, take up your cross daily, you know, that's hard. I'm already okay going to church once a month, going to church. Actually, it's like really crazy because what they have now in the st st statistics, right? The people were surveyed and they still feel that they are active members of the church and they only go to church once in two months, Right? If, again, we are not about a religion. We are about a relationship with God and with those believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you following this? And just imagine, if it's about relationship and not just a religious activity, I, will you be satisfied with the relationship that you see the person that you love, that you see them once in two months? Will I be an okay father if I'm just going to show up once in two months? Right? I'm going to tell Michelle, all right, see you in two months. That's not a relationship. That's a transaction. Right? 
And I will not have a good relationship with my kids if they see me once in two months too. Right? And, um, and of course, you know, our culture in, um, among us Filipinos, we have OFWs. And that's why that's actually one thing that it caused also the breakdown of families in the Philippines. You know, because we've been away from one another. And I'm a proud of that. My dad had been um, left the Philippines when I, on my sixth birthday. On the day of my birthday, he was, he was in the plane. Right? And then, of course, he goes back, you know, um, every two years for a three-week vacation. That's my relationship with my dad. And then he finally settled in the Philippines when I was 25 years old. And two years after, my brother left for Singapore. And four years after, I left for the States. Yeah, so we are really like a family that's like spread all over the, you know, the place. But here, you know, and, and Cain likeness. So again, if that's the kind of relationship we have, nobody wants that, wants that kind of relationship. Diba kuya boy? Kaya ang prayer ni kuya boy, dumating na si Ate Milet dito. Mm. Pwede naman siya magbakasyon ng kada dalawang buwan, no? Mahal. <laughs> <laughs> kaya raw ang ano eh kaya raw bakit daw ang tawag sa pag-ibig mahal hmm. kasi magastos hindi <laughs> ba Gab <laughs> alright so here self-righteousness the Lord Jesus Christ said many will say to me in that day Lord Lord have we not prophesied in your name cast out demons in your name magaling nagpa Papalis ng demonyo eh. Ang demonyo, lumayas ka. Yeah. And done many wonders in your name. Lord, we've done these things. Lord, we were faithful. But look at what the Lord Jesus Christ said. These guys were religious. These guys were religious. And if you're going to really look at them, they're actually great at the things that they're doing. They're actually better than me. But look at what it says. And then I will declare to them on that day, I never knew you. Depart from me. You who practice lawlessness. Listen, the Bible says the word that was used here is iniquity. There are different ways sin was actually translated in the scriptures. Trespasses, transgressions, iniquity, lawlessness. This word iniquity actually has, you know, some angle that you are doing good things, but with the wrong motive, with the wrong method. So we are doing a lot of good things. Just for example, singing in the band. Is that a good thing or not? It's a good thing, right? But if your heart is not into it, right, you are here singing in the band, the gusto mo magpakit no sa crush mo. Diba? And actually, you know, I've, I've, I've for all throughout the years, and I praise the Lord God for our worship director, Rika, because she takes the worship band, their worship and personal worship with the Lord God seriously. Hmm. Right, she's burdened when she knows that those who are in the band are not into God's word and not into God's things. Why? Because it's not, if you are in the band, this is a worship band. This is not a music band. It's not about making music. It is about leading worship. Hmm. Right? And that's a good thing. But if the wrong thing, the Lord God says, that's what you call iniquity. These guys, were, are there those good things? Preaching in Christ's name, right? Um, casting demons out, doing signs and wonders. Are they wonderful things? They are nice things. But what did the Lord God say? But I never knew you because you do, don't do it in the will of my Father. Hmm, what is the will of the Father? Number one, repentance. The Lord God said that none should perish, but that all should come to repentance. What is repentance? Repentance is knowing that you are going the wrong way, and then you have to turn back. It's a U-turn. You are seeing that your ways are wrong, and you go make a U-turn. So you're here. Again, you know, man's self-righteousness isn't righteousness at all. Man's ways is to think that we are always right. Amen? I'm not always right, but it is that, you know, my opinion is better than than yours that's it and you know you know when when couples fight have you noticed when couples fight what happens everybody everyone is shouting do they really listen do they really hear why are they shouting because they don't they want to be heard because they are think that they are always right mm. so i praise the lord god or we've been there but praise the Lord God. You know, the Lord God had changed my wife. You know, <laughs> the Lord God had changed us. Right? Had changed us. If we are mad at each other, there's only 10 minutes. 10 minutes you can be upset. That's it. But after that, you know, that's already sinful. 
right? Man's ways, we think that our ways are always right. We make excuses for, we make excuses for the same sins we make. If you are into sexual sins, you actually give excuses to those people who are also adulterers and fornicators. If you're having sex outside marriage, you are like, oh, you, you minimize that. But then, you are easy to condemn those who sin differently from us. That's actually our nature. We excuse those that sin like us, but then we are easy to condemn those who sin, you know, differently from us. That's case in point. That's why we are having a hard time telling people who are part of the LGBTQ community that we love them, but we don't agree with their lifestyle because all throughout, Christians had condemned them, you know, condemned them in the area of our condemnation it becomes like you know at the top two but then the things that are being done elsewhere our sins chismis hmm right our our sins that we are we are actually mga mangungutang these are really familiar in churches meron mga utang tas hindi magbabayad di ba if that's you if that's you and you need to you need to to work on that talk to us we can help you right not with with paying your your debt but really making, helping you understand because most of the time it's a mishandling of your funds. That's why you are like that. Amen? Right? And so, well, those who are in on staff, ah, nakakaya naman yan si kapatid na gato, na staff at ulay. But then we excuse the sins. If you are in staff, you are actually making ways and excuses for yourself too. Eh, hindi kasi siguro naipit lang yan. You know, are you following this? That's self-righteousness. We are thinking that we are better than others. Those who sin differently from us. Right? And self-righteousness is never any, it's not, it isn't righteousness at all. Right? We spotlight our good sides, we spotlight our good sides and excuse our bad ones. Hmm. Let's see the story of the Pharisee and the public as told by Jesus to understand this more. In Luke 18 verse 9. And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous. Listen. What the Lord Jesus Christ said, right? Luke 18, 9, right? Those who trusted in themselves that they were righteous. So if you are this, that you're always thinking, I'm right, I'm always right, I'm righteous, this is for you. And not only that they think that they, they, they are righteous, but they despise others. Look, two men went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee, a religious leader. And the other, a publican. A publican is a, not Republican, huh? right? A publican is a uh, tax collector. You know, they, they, are, they are treated as traitors. They are one of the, the worst people that you can associate with. People don't like them, Jews particularly. Because they are actually collecting taxes for the Romans. And some of them are actually cheaters. Right? Hello? So Pilipinas, we have BIR. Sila yon. Mm -hmm. And here also, you know, IRS. And here what the Lord God is telling us, that he showed this. So the Pharisee and the publican went to the temple to pray. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. And he says, God, I thank thee that I am not as the other men. You are extortioners, unjust, adulterers, and even as this man. That was his attitude. He, was, he might be praying loudly or not, but do you think the Lord God heard his prayer? That was a proudful prayer. It was a prideful prayer. I fast twice in the week. Makita mo naman, Lord. Katatapos lang natin mag-fasting. And some of you actually went through. I'm, I'm just, I praise the Lord God for all of those who took, uh, some of you, um, I heard, is doing the 40, 40 days. Skipping a meal a day. Wow. Yeah, praise the Lord God for you. May the Lord God sustain you. Right? And I fasted twice a week, and I give tithes of all I possess. Mm. Pati yung kapitbahay namin, itinatite ko. Mm. Lord? Lord, Ronald here. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me. I'm a sinner. The 
the Lord Jesus Christ said, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalts himself shall be abased. And he who humbles himself shall be exalted. Second hmm. Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. Christ's likeness is to be truly righteous. I don't depend on my own righteousness. Because whether I like it or not, even my best intentions are tainted by my sinfulness. Hmm. There's always the angle of self-seeking. Right? But when the Lord God is working in me, Right, 2 Corinthians 5, 21, look at what it says. For he made him, Christ, who knew no sin, he was sinless, to be sin for us. He did not become a sinner, but he became sin. Because God loves sinners. Of course, he detests sinners too. But again, in our sinful state, God loved you, right? But he did not make the Lord Jesus Christ sinful, but he made him sin. God despises sin. That's why he had to throw Satan out. Because of sin. No sin can enter heaven, but Jesus Christ was made sin for us. Why? That we might become the righteousness of God in Him. Ephesians 2, 8 to 10. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. That not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. You cannot go to God and, Lord, you need to accept me because I am a good person. The Lord God said, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For people who are like me, I, I was boastful. You know, I'm haughty, I'm prideful, but I praise the Lord God, you know, because of His grace. You know, He had humbled me. And today, in this church, I am the most humble person. There you go. All right? And uh, in Ephesians 2, 8, verse 10, and look at what the Lord God says. Look at God's way there. Right? Man's ways is always going to bring you down. But look at what is God's way. In verse 10, For we are His workmanship, His masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus to all good works. Did you see that? For good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. God already has a pathway for you. Wow. So if you are Christ-like, if you are pursuing God's ways, God has already prepared wonderful things for you to do. Wow, right? And I still remember again, you know, that some of you, when I challenge you to become leaders, some of you are saying, Pastor, I don't deserve that. So I told you to pray about it and praise the Lord God. Those of you who had responded, you know. You know that these are things that are, and you are also discovering it is actually painful also. But you cannot, you cannot displace that with the joy that is coming from the Lord because the joy of the Lord is our strength. When you pursue God, when you pursue God's ways, there's delight in it. Real delight. Hmm. Right now, somebody asked me, Pastor, may you a pastor? Sabi ko, if this is easy, everybody would become pastors. Right? And even in our, in, among our coaches, it took a while before these guys actually said yes. Right? Jake had been with me since he's 15 years old. Right? And just imagine that. And for a long, long time, you know, I've been mentoring him and all that, but, you know, and then these will be like going in and then getting out, going in and getting out. Because he knows it's not easy. Um, um, Ives is just someone who's actually like, you know, just quick and then just joined eventually, you know. And he knows that he has a calling as soon as he became a Christian. And now he's also the leader of my kids. He's the one who's actually like uh, consistent going there. But of course, we know there's still a lot that the Lord God is doing in Ives' life. You know, one of his prayers is, of course, that his family also would become believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. And of course, you know, Jomar is a different story also. Jomar had been running away. So he's actually, right now, he's the running coach. That's what he calls himself, right? So these coaches have different backgrounds, you know, but it's not easy to say yes to the Lord in going to the full-time ministry, right? It's not easy, but there is just joy in it because this is the pathway that the Lord God had given. Hmm. Now, somebody told me one day, Pastor, you would be a great businessman. Hmm. I believe so. But do you know that I've discovered that if I try to use my gift of, uh, gift of, gift of um, speaking, preaching, and teaching in a business setting, it doesn't work? You know, I, I can talk about anything, right? In the scriptures, if you tell me, you know, and I, I love to prepare and I love to actually preach and teach. 
But there was this one time I got into an MLM business. Right? So I went. And there's like 20 people in the crowd. Right? So I give it my best shot. But, you know, I was sweating a lot from the very beginning. And at the end, everybody, you know, I was just like five minutes into the, into the lecture. People are like, you know, you're not interested anymore. People were yawning. You could see them. You, they, they want to get out of the place already. And then after that, I was even sweating a lot. And then Michelle went to me afterwards, and then she told me, this is not for you. <laughs> That's what, that was her statement to me, hindi para sa to. Right? Because this is not for business. God is using me in order to help people right, to find their way back to God. That's the point of my gifts. Are you following this? So I now understand it's not me. All throughout, it is the Lord God. So I cannot promote myself. I cannot be righteous on my own. And last but not the least, crane likeness is self-seeking. Right? Are you familiar with this? What will I get from that? Right? When somebody goes to you, what will I get from that? Oh, ito mga, mga linyahan natin, di ba? Um, atilian, open-minded ka ba? Yeah. Familiar? And the poses that they are trying to help you, right? There's nothing wrong with MLM. I actually like the, the, the business model for that. Do you know that was actually patterned, the original ones who did this, where they found this business model? They found that from discipleship. They saw that discipleship, the word of mouth, and trying to have that relationship is effective if you're going to use that as a business model. But here's the thing. How many of you had got burned? Because, again, the relationship was not really about a relationship. It was about business. The world is telling us this. It's self-seeking. But Christ-likeness is giving and sacrificing. And today, I challenge you toward that. Mm. Some of you are thinking, oh, pastor, offering na naman na, na. This is different, all right? So in James 1, 4, look at what the Lord God says in James 1, 4. Where do wars and fights and quarrels come from among you? Do they not come from your desires, your lust for pleasure, that war in your members? Do you see that? Do you see that? And the Lord God says, what is the reason for the conflicts? In verse 2, you lust and you do not have. You murder and you covet and cannot obtain. This is not literally, you know, um, you know not, it could be literal, but it's this, in, in the, this juncture, this is not literal murder. But again, the murder to the Lord God says, because our hearts are hateful. Therefore, we commit murder against our brothers and our sisters. And now, and look at what the Lord God said. You murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight in war, yet you do not have because you do not ask. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Do not knock and open the door. You're going to get knocked out. Yeah. Right? And look at what verse 3 says. You ask and do not receive. Lord, nagpipray naman ako. You ask and do not receive because you ask amiss that you may spend it on your pleasures. Wrong heart. Wrong motive. Following this? Following this? Now, that is self-seeking. I will join the ministry. I will join the band. Not for the glory of God, but I want to be known. I want to become a pastor because pastors have beautiful wives. Right? Somebody actually told me that. Hey, pastor, gusto mong pastor. Bakit? Eh, kasi mga pastor, parang lahat kayo mga pastor, ang gaganda ng mga asawa nyo. Siyempre, di ba? Pangit na nga kami. Pipili pa kami ng pangit. Di ba? <laughs> <laughs> and, and in all that but here's what the Lord God is telling us you know you could not be self-seeking but here's actually the change because Christ is in you 1 John chapter 3.16 we know John 3.16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall never perish but have everlasting life the promise of Christ life life eternal and life to the fullest now in 1 John 3.16 so by this, we know love because he laid down his life for us. John 3.16. The next part is the continuation of John 3.16 is you and me. Look at the next part. Look at what we said. And we also ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Right? Listen. This is not just talking to be willing to die for our brothers and our sisters. No. It's talking about living our lives with them. 
Hmm. So the, remember what Paul said, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Dying is only gain if you are living for Christ. The same way, I cannot say, Nanay Susan, I'll die for you. Hmm. Right? But then I don't want to live with you. Does it cut it? Diva? It means that the way I live my life, because I know my life is affecting Nanay Susan. And Nanay Susan is also affecting the lives of her cell group. So this is not just an individual thing. This is a community thing. Right? It's impossible to love. Uh, Pastor, uh, okay na ako with my family doing our worship service on our own. Doesn't cut it. Because it's not about that. The relationship is not just you and God and, and my family. No. The Lord God says, how can you love one another when you are alone? Can you love someone else? Love is not love if it's not, it's only seeking oneself. Love is always giving. Are you following this? Are you following this? Even God, our, our, the Godhead, the Trinity, their fellowship, God the Father is not about himself. God the Father is about God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The same way God the, God the Son is about God the Father, God the Holy Spirit. And God the Holy Spirit is about God the Son and God the Father. Are you seeing this? They are a perfect example of love, of fellowship. That's why we believe in one God in three persons. That's the picture of that. So I cannot be saying, oh Lord, time dalawa na lang. love God. No, it's centering on me. But the Lord God said, love God and love others as you love yourself. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Diba nai? Mm. Right? And when you start to do this, look at what it says. Now, in verse 17, I love this, this part. Right? Don't worry. We're almost ending. Mm. After an hour. Right? But whoever does this world's goods and sees his brother in need and shuts up his heart, Listen, how does the love of God abide in him? Whew. Right? Because again, Cain likeness is self seeking, Christ likeness is giving and sacrificing. Hmm. One, of our, one of our staff, Karen, actually, while she was talking about this, because she's heading, um, by the way, Bright Spot Community Center is um, launching soon. Right, we are doing our programs now, but May 1, so mark that calendar, May 1, we are going to have our ribbon cutting for Bright, Bright Spot Community Center. So Karen is the one who's heading this. And there was this one time that she was talking to one of the, our young people, and, and then she talked about, you know, how, she's, uh, you know um, how, how she wants to actually, you know, the same way that we want. We want, to have, we want to make a lot of money so that we can actually help more people. And this young adult cannot really like relate with that. And he said, don't you find that, that that is actually not smart? What is not smart, Karen said, right? So, um, and so the, 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 the young adults um, told her, and because you are making money and you're just like giving it away, right? What about you? And of course, Karen already knows because she's already practicing this. While she doesn't have millions yet, she's already practicing this. You know, she gives a lot. Right? There was this one time a pastor was going to fly here. You remember that uh, we had an American pastor, and then the Lord God burdened her. Right? So she booked the, the flight, and she used her own money and told the pastor, Pastor, that's my gift for you. Wow. So Karen, kung nakikinig ka, papunta ako ng Pilipinas. <laughs> Pwede mo bang i-book din yung aking flight? Right? So, but kidding aside, this is the spirit. This is dumb to the world. Right? Right? And so somebody close to me also told me, Pastor, told me, you know, it's, um, you know I think the, the way you are also teaching your kids, because there was this one time, you remember that Mayumi, during her birthday, gave, she said that she's going to give percentage of her money, right? Um, her birthday money, her gifts, she's going to give it to the Talisai people during the, during the volcano explosion. You remember that? That she gave. And when, before I left for the Philippines, Mai just opened her wallet and gave everything to me and told me, Tata, you, I want you to bring this. I said, that's all your money? And she said, yes. And you know, among my kids, my, Mayumi is actually the one who always has money because she's always giving. And so somebody I love actually told me, I, I think you are teaching your kids wrong because 
if they're going to do that, they're going to be abused and all that. And you know, kidding me, I said, I, I, I think because we were already debating. So I told him, I told him, let's not debate anymore because you cannot relate because you're not doing it. Right? What's the point? Mind's ways will always be against God's ways. Oh, by the way, I'm not advocating that you do that to us. That's a burden that the Lord God had given to us. So that's why we do it. Right? But if the Lord God tells you to do it, just obey the Lord God. Mm. But here, right? Um, C.S. Lewis, my favorite author, my favorite writer, he said this, delight is incomplete until it is expressed. Delight is incomplete until it is expressed. Right? Diba? Tayo sa may, ano, we, we, we Asians, we love to, when mainit yung soup, how do you show your appreciation? With that sound. And then when you, when you, when you, when you drink, when you drink a cold drink during a hot day, and then you gulp it, and afterwards, that, ah, there's that expression of delight. And here's another way. You know, when you eat ice cream, you know, when you eat ice cream and you taste it, hmm. These are all expressions of delight, diba? Pero pag ayaw mo, kinakain mo, right? And in much the same way, when you are doing things, when you find your delight in the Lord, kaya yung ating expression na praise the Lord, don't let it be just an expression. Kakita kang pangit, ay, praise the Lord. You know, it doesn't apply there. But it's really like because of the pleasure that you really feel in your heart. And you understand how God is so gracious that God had saved you from your sins and now he has a wonderful plan for your life. Right? And it's amazing. Then you express it. Express it in worship. That's why I tell you for those that you are in worship when we sing, when we express, when we read the scriptures, let it come from the heart, not just here. Right? But from the heart. So, you know, um, when I first, you know, this was like a, a big, uh, a big, uh, um, big journey for me, right? When in worship, before I cannot even, li- I don't lift my hands in worship because I am, I am timid to do it. It's not been my practice. All throughout when we sang, right, in the church that I grew up, when we sing, it's like this. A mighty fortress is our God. And then you smile, oh, bawal yan, that's not worship, it's like that. You know, we don't clap, right? Somebody gives a special number, you just say amen. And there are times you don't even say anything. But delight is, again, right, is incomplete if it's not expressed. We express in worship. We express in our giving and sacrificing. We express in having God's Christ's righteousness in us. It, we express by glorifying our Lord God. And last but not the least, and I know, First John chapter 5, verse 18, look at what the Lord God says. Little children, let us not love in words only. Praise the Lord. Kapatid, I love you. But what does the Lord God say? But also in deeds. There. So today, right, um, we are inviting you to use your abilities for God's glory. Hmm. So, uh, do we have the, the sign-up sheet? Jeff, the QR code. All right, so here, we have four ministries. We have a lot of ministries, but there are four that I want to, to actually invite you to be part of. These are all related to our worship service, right, or the way we run our worship service. So, we don't just, we don't go back to church we go back to church not only to attend church, but we go back to church to serve. All right? So that's our next step. So what are the serve, things that we can serve in? All right? Number one. All right? So we are going to see a QR code. You can um, use your camera, all right, in order to, to, uh, to see that. But here's the, here's our, the ministries. Number one, the ministry that we have in Lightcast is what we call the gatekeepers. All right? Say it with me. Gatekeepers. Who are the gatekeepers? These are the, our ushers and our greeters. All right, if you have a ready smile and you can do this, right, you can do this, right, you can be part of our gatekeepers. So sign up for that. Mm, sign up for that. You're going to have the QR code that's going to bring you to, your, to, your, um, to a form. So put your name and then your cell group and then check that if you want to be part of the gatekeepers, ushers. 
and greeters. Number two, number two, number two, number two. Right? The next one is that you are um, the ano lagi ko number two. Cleanliness, cleanliness patrol. Yeah. Hindi cleanliness, hindi cleanliness, ha? cleanliness right, patrol. So who are these? You are the ones who are actually going to take care of the bathroom, right? And the hallways or wherever we are at, right? We make sure that, um, you know, that uh, even like the those that are left in church, we have a, a uh, you know, lost and found, right? So you are taking care of this because this don't get set up, this don't get cleaned on their own. Right? So if you have the, you know, you, you, you are great at this, right? Organizing stuff, right? So you can be part of this ministry. Cleanliness. Patrol. Yeah. Next one is our audiovisual production team. The audiovisual production team, those who are handling, you see what Mara is doing? Come on, kawaii kawai Mara. There you go. She's the one who's controlling the pro presenter. Right? And Jake, Jake is, uh, our, of course, our, um, our uh, um, is a, uh, uh, doing the, the cameras, right? And uh, you see what he's doing. He's controlling the sound, right? And that's with Ronald, who's also doing the sound. You see Ronald's laptop? That's actually connected to our, to our sound system, right? And of course, Bilis, para makita ka, ayan. Pinopromote kita. Yeah. All right, if you want to be cool, like my, my second son, Ichi, right? So we have cameramen, all right? So if you want to be part of this um, team, the audiovisual production team, right, sign up for that, right? And we are going to, and last but not the least, our production assistants. These are called the running men. And they are led by the running coach. <laughs> okay, and Jomar. So these are, what, what's the point? You remember that, um, just for example, did you see Jomar that he comes here? Um, moves things around, right? And when we are in the bigger gathering, there's a lot of more people that we need, right? There are times that the, work, the mic is not working, so this is your part, right? You help in the setup, you help in making the program run, especially that we are doing things online. And eventually, we are looking for a bigger production. And by the way, right, um, we, this has been like in the radar for a long time, but we are not prepared for it yet. Uh, we are praying that we are going to have a slot on a TV channel in the Philippines, right? So like us, we'll actually have a, a, a slot there. So we need more people, right? So how do we do this? So you sign up, right? You can only sign up in one ministry for now, right? So because we don't want to concentrate. So what's not going to happen? Right? Don't worry because we are going to train you. So if you're going to get trained, you know, we have people who had started in our ministry who are now professionals, Right, that uh, they started with a with a with a production team, and now they're using that for their career. Right, so we have that, and uh, um, those people who actually like started doing our program are now event coordinators. Right, uh, so we see that. You know, they, there's just uh, when you start. Uh, and do you know that um, where did uh, what's her name, uh, Whitney Houston? Do you know where she got trained to sing in church? And soon, don't worry because people are asking me, Pastor, kailan tayo li magkaka choir? Malapit na yan. Of course, last but not least, I forgot. Not forgetting Samba. Right? Samba. Did I put it there? Yeah. Samba, right? Our worship band. So if you have the talent to sing, the talent to uh, play instruments, or if you want to learn, right? If you have the talent to dance, <laughs> all right? So uh, sign up for that. Mm, sign up for that. All right? So, but if you cannot sing, and if your mother told you that while you're singing, anak, tumula ka na lang, don't. Don't join the band. <laughs> All right. So again, so again, uh, it, it is amazing. Did you see our drummer for today? Huh? First time, first time. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gabby, huh? huh? Second time's the drums? Oh, really? I'm late. Yeah. Sorry. Congratulations. All right. Yeah. Ang tagal ko na po nililigawan si Gabby because she, she, I, I, I saw her playing drums when she was, uh, um, you know, younger. And she comes all the way from New Jersey, huh? Yeah, no, yeah, no. All right, so again, we thank the Lord God for that. So these are the ministries. So let us not love in words only. Let us love in deeds, all right? So next week, next week, so when is the first training? This is going to be on Saturday. This coming Sabado, right? So the training will always be the Saturday before our big gathering. All right, so this, this is going to be now, it's March 26th, right? So this coming Saturday at 4 o'clock, 
at 4 o'clock, we're going to be here. But uh, for those who want to samba, um, ask Rika for, for this, all right? So actually, we have a conflict. Our kids actually are in a, their last day for the play. Yeah, I know. All right, yeah. They're supposed to have the play yesterday, the original dates, yeah. All right. So again, so this coming Saturday, come here. And by the way, we have a bonus for you. Each ministry will have its own identity. So it, it means the gatekeepers, ang meron lang nung gamit ng gatekeepers lang. Mm. Right? And for those sa, sa, sa production team, right? Yung AV, yung audiovisual, you have a different stuff that are going to be your identity also, to be identified. And also yung ating mga running men, yung mga running men, they need to be invisible, so lahat sila nakaitim mula ulo hanggang paa. <laughs> right? But we are uh, doing this. For Samba, right? Samba, well, the mark that you have is that you are actually in front. Right? But eventually, you're going to have your own shirts. Yeah. Hoodies. Yeah. Uh, security doubled with the, the cleanliness. Right? So, yeah, natin. All right. So, again, we thank the Lord God for, for all this. Right? So, sign up. If you have a hard time signing up, just approach us after the worship service. All right, so let's close this. I'm going to close. I'm not going to ask the presider to come again. Uh, ma mahal. Fear of God, Ang. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah, make our own brand. All right. So we're not going to go. and I'm going to cut the program. We're supposed to have still a... a a closing song, and um, our, I'm going to do the benediction now, right? So um, we thank the Lord God for you. Again, we would like to welcome, right, um, our first-time guests, right? So we are glad that you are here with us, and I hope that you enjoy the worship service, all right? So, wala tayong pagkain, no? All right, we have cookies for lunch, all right? And for those who are going to um, um, prayer walk, we have to, we're waiting for the Ozone Park people. They're already on their way to be here, and then we're going to prayer walk, all right? So our, our, the one who's going to give us the instruction is John. Let's all stand. Again, and for those who are online, God bless you for being with us today, and let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for you would love us, Lord, with an everlasting love. Thank you, Lord God, that, Lord, your love never changed. And it will never change, Lord God. For those who are in Christ, thank you, Lord God, that we are free, Lord God, from the penalty of sin, from the power of sin, and eventually from the presence of sin. Thank you, Lord God, Lord God, that as we had lifted you up, Lord, you told us, Lord, that you're going to lift us up too. So right now, the first thing in order for you to become, to go to the path of the Lord God and prepare for you, the first thing that you need to do is to repent. We all had sin. I did. But praise the Lord God that He is a forgiver. He forgives. And not only that He forgives, He's also a rescuer, a savior. So today, if you want to have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, it starts first with repenting and then opening your heart to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And as that's the desire of your heart, I would like to lead you in prayer. It's not the prayer that's going to save you, but the grace of God that you are now receiving in faith. So pray with me. Not from your mind, but from your heart. For with the heart we believe, and with the mouth confession is turned into salvation. So would you pray with me? If you want to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you want to have eternal life, have a relationship with Christ today. Say yes to Jesus. Now let's pray. Lord God, thank you for loving me. Lord, please forgive me for doing things my own way. I ask for forgiveness for all the sins that I have done against you. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for loving me. Thank you for dying for me. I now open my heart and I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Come into my life. From now on, you are my Lord, you are my Savior, my Master, my God. Thank you, Lord God, for your promise. 
of eternal life. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. And now unto you who is able to do beyond what we ask or even imagine. According to your power that is at work within us and in your and all the glory be unto your name and unto your church in Christ Jesus. And now we declare, Lord God, Lord, that be all glory and majesty be unto you and you alone, now and forevermore. And the people of God say, Amen. Amen. God bless you.